YouTube what it is, it's your boy Young, and I'm back with another video, man. Yeah, so I gave you the rundown of why I chose JB Hunt, right? I told you why I chose JB Hunt. I showed you why I chose JB Hunt. Now let's talk about it. That's when I first started. That was last year, uh, 2022. Now 2023, things has changed. JB Hunt, I see in the motor, that's I see independent contractors, in the motor, they gave us a market adjustment. So before I told you we was getting a dollar forty per cents per mile. I told you we was getting one fifty per dropping hook. I told you we was getting two hundred per live load or uh, live unload. I told you that, right? So now the difference is with the market adjustment, we are getting one thirty a dollar thirty per mile instead of 140 per mile we are getting a hundred dollars per dropping hook but we was getting 150 per dropping hook we are getting 150 per live load and live unload we were getting 200 dollars thanks son all in the camera um but we raw and uncut we'll give it to you like it is um so that's the market adjustment, man. That's the market adjustment, right? That's the market adjustment, dog. Like, and you and you'll be surprised how much those fifty dollars, hundred dollars, um, affect you in a way. Because now, you know, I, like I said, I wanted three to four loads a day. So in order for me to make the money that I was making before, I need to run what? Uh six loads a day and it's not happening that's not happening because i wake up at 5 a.m and i hit it you know what i'm saying I, I get out here and i do my thing and some days it's longer than others some days i can get some loads it'll be a pickup out of the rail yard go drop at the customs uh drive you know a short distance pick up another load bring it back to the rail yard and i'm done and i might have an equipment move or something but with these adjustments man and then work is so slow like look at look i'm supposed to be on the truck right now but you know what check-in time is at 11 o'clock today yesterday and day before yesterday check-in time was at 10 o'clock so that means they don't have work for IC drivers. I'm going to give it to you real deal, holy field. I'm going to tell you what you're getting yourself into if you decide to get yourself into it. If, it's, if, it, if the opportunity presents itself. Am I making money now? Yeah, I'm making money, but I'm not making the money that I was making. So, I set a goal. If I can bring home two grand, two grand home a week I can deal with that based on my overhead costs if I can bring home two grand a week after everything now I'm telling y'all see see people will be like man two grand you you can you can make more way more money than that right but me I'm telling you if I can bring home two grand home a week I get home every night I sleep in my bed every single night driver every night I'm sleeping in my bed. I get off. I get to take care of my personal needs. Now, some days are longer than others, like I said. But for the most part, if I have the schedule that I need to be off, off for something in particular, I can get off. It's rough. It's rough, man. It's rough. We're not making the money that we once made because work is, work is terrible right now. You lucky if you get two loads a day now. You know, I feel like they they scrapping for work, you know. But like I said, me, I don't know about other people, other drivers, or other fellow co-workers, uh, what their situation is. But I know for me, if I can bring home two grand at the end of the week, that's after everything come out, insurance, deductions, fuel, everything. If I can bring home at least two grand, I can keep my head above water. 
That's me. Because I told you, driver, when I was banking, what I was doing? I was putting up, man. I was putting up. So slow season, that's what they call it, quote unquote, right? Now I'm able to, if I have to, I don't put up so if anything come up, I'm good. You see what I'm saying? I ain't, you get that money and then you go out and, and splurge and buy this and buy that and you get in slow season, what you ready to do? You ready to leave, you ready to go, go somewhere with some money at, right? I'm sitting still for a little bit. I'm gonna see if it get better. If it don't get better, then as a business owner, as a leader of my company, I have to make decisions. I have to do what I do to get up. I gotta do what I gotta do to get up out of there, right? So driver, I told you, I'ma give it to you. Like it is, man. I ain't gonna sugarcoat because guess what? It ain't gonna hurt me one way or another. They, and, and I heard some drivers been talking about, oh man, don't tell them how much we making over here. Don't don't tell them uh uh how much you can make and such man, I don't care nothing about that. It's enough money out here for all of us. That's what's wrong with us now. We don't want to share the information that can help another brother, another sister. I ain't been raised like that, bro. I, my heart is, is is big. I help people. You know, if if, if, it, if it came down to it and I seen a driver on the side of the road and I knew him, I'd pull over and see what I could do to help him out, man. Because that's just who I am. You see what I'm saying? I'm here to help somebody. It's a driver somewhere that's with a company wanting to buy his truck or buy her truck and want to be home because they got kids or, or they want to work life balance. They want to live outside that truck. You see what I'm saying? And I'm telling you the process and the route I took. Not saying it will work for you, but I'm telling you what I did. So hopefully it will give you some insight on you know what you can do and what you can't do and what's possible and what's not possible but yeah so let's let's talk about some things i dislike about jb hunt in a motor uh dispatch i mean to each his own man like i said every company have pros and cons right every company have pros and cons so I'll be a liar and say I don't like dealing with one person then I like dealing with another person. I'm not going to call names. I at least have that much respect, you know what I'm saying, not to call names. But there's people that I'd rather deal with and people I'd rather not deal with. There's people that I would say more approachable than others, you know? Um, one thing I hate, uh, let me not use the word hate. One thing I dislike and I strongly dislike about I see uh, running these containers. If you pick up out of the rail yard and you drop at customs, right? And there's no empty, you have to look for an empty. Now this I strongly hate looking for an empty man i use hate again i strongly dislike looking for an empty man i really like I, I i can't stand it man i really can't stand it you have to look for an empty and some days they start you out on a pre-assignment with you have to find an empty first right so you gotta ride around looking for an empty and how work is now it's so slow they got us going to get him it's taking them to a drop yard or taking them to a, a terminal. And we can't find empties. So you wasting so much time looking for an empty. I strongly dislike that. I strongly dislike when you send a message over the OBC. That's the computer in your truck. How long it takes them to respond. I strongly dislike that. Because I hear time is money, man. My time is money. I like to run. I keep my wheels, tur wheels turning. As long as I'm keeping my wheels turning, what I should be doing? I should be earning. You see what I'm saying, driver? So if you got me sitting 30 minutes every time I send a message, at the end of my day, that's probably about two hours that I waste. Now I could have did two loads in two hours short distance loads now 
The way pay is, I'm gonna tell you, my goal was eight hundred to a thousand dollars a day, home every night, not sleeping in my truck. Come on, driver, you telling me that eight hundred to a thousand dollars a day ain't good for you? I don't know what your overhead cost is. I don't know if you're trying to keep up with the zone, the Joneses, but I'm telling you right now, eight hundred to a thousand dollars a day was well, that, that ain't going good for me. We ain't doing that right now. I'ma give it to you real deal, holy field. I ain't doing that right now. I'm lucky to do five to six hundred dollars a day. That's how bad it is right now, driver. That's how freaking bad it is right now. But I'm keeping my head above water because I said if I can bring home two grand at the end of the week, I'm all right. I even give it 1800 at the end of the week. Now, I'm telling you what works for me. I'm not saying what works for you now. I'm telling you my experience, what I go through, and how I get through it. So don't get on here talking about, man, you crazy, man. Y'all can't do that. I can't do this. I say what works for me, driver. What works for me might not work for you. But again, I'm sharing my experience. I'm sharing what I'm going through, right? So, uh, like I stated, man, as far as, you know, coming on as a contractor, leasing my truck to J.B. Hunt, running a freight, man, um, I saw somebody in the, in the comments said, run, run, J.B. Hunt is a ripoff, such and such and such. I've been away about two years, driver, and I understand the pros and cons. I understand your experience probably was, wasn't the best, but my experience been a little bit different. And, you know, based off what I told you that I strongly dislike, other than that, I have no ill feelings or bad, you know, bad taste in my mouth for J.B. Hunt. Now, wait a minute. Don't let me forget this. I strongly dislike this too. This is number three. I strongly dislike we run out of three rail yards. Austell, Atlanta, Fairburn. Now, I live closer to Atlanta Rail Yard and Austell Rail Yard. The Fairburn, Fairburn Rail Yard. I strongly dislike me ending my day in Fairburn, had to bobtail all the way home. So I, these miles not getting account for. It. I'm bobtail. If you know where Fairburn at, now if you if you in the metro Atlanta area, think about going to Tennessee. 74, 75 northbound going towards Cartersville. That's my area. Now, if I drop off in Fairburn, you know how many miles that is for me to get home. Now, the next day, I send my available flow call and they send me back to Fairburn to pick out, to pick up at Fairburn Rail Yard when I just dropped off there last night. Man, I strongly dislike that too because those miles for me to get home and those miles for me to get back to the load to make the moolah, I'm not getting paid for it, driver. But there are there are times, and I, it's very rare, and I wish I could holler at a, 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 a planner or something to hook me up. So if you watch this video, planner, hook me up. <laughs> so if I drop off in Fairburn, I don't mind if I end my day in Fairburn, I don't mind picking up the next morning in Austell or Atlanta because that's closer to my house. I'll get paid the miles from Fairburn to Austell Atlanta Rail Yard. You see what I'm saying? At least that slimmed down the miles a little bit. Now I know you can eat some type of miles. They ain't gonna pay for you to get home. I understand that. It's a business. I get that. But golly, why have me in my day in Fairburn? drive all the way home then tell me dispatch me to pick up the next day in Fairburn I strongly dislike that so those are the things the three things that I dislike the most other than that I really don't have no nothing else to, else to say about it man and like I said I'm on the way to the truck right now I'm on my way to make it happen 
check-in time was 11 o'clock. And uh, I'm going to do what I can, man. I'm going to do what I can. Ain't no need to complain. Nobody don't care about it anyway. You know what I'm saying? So do what you can, driver. Be encouraged. Keep your head up. If you an IC driver and you watching this video, I'm rooting for you, bro. And uh, hit the air horn when you see me out there, man. Kenworth, white Kenworth, man, T680. Probably the cleanest one that you know. My boy with the, uh, the purple, the plum Kenworth, keep it short clean. I see that, I see you, and I hit the air horn every time. But if you see me out there, I see drivers with JB Hunt, hit the air horn, man. I'll let your boy. But for, it, for as far as everybody else, that's the rundown, man. That's the rundown. Be encouraged, be safe, be motivated, and get it done. Until next time. Oh, wait a minute. Don't forget, don't let me forget to give you the. I appreciate you for stopping by, dog. I appreciate you for stopping freaking by. I appreciate the subs. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the likes. Cause I'm trying to get my channel up and running, man. I'm trying to run this channel like it ain't no other, man. And I enjoy what I do. Because I do what I enjoy. I'm posting every single day. I'm on my journey. Hit that subscribe button, man. Subscribe to your boy channel. I appreciate you for stopping by once again. Until next time. Yo!